homemade chunky chicken salad and a little surprise at the end. All right, so back from Los Angeles, had a wonderful time out there, graduation, in and out Burger, Hollywood, K-Town. What more could you ask for? Well, I'm gonna ask for more salad. Uh, and in this case, it's gonna be homemade chunky chicken salad. Um, you may remember uh, we've done chicken salad with grapes. Um, that was with Griffin. Uh, he was guest host and it was our, I just looked it up, our third most popular video has been the one uh, with Griffin. Um, that's where he famously said he could make the salad himself. I could make this salad better for a cheaper price. Which again, yes, but time and money. So. Let's start with the time and money. So this is homemade chunky chicken salad. No ingredients. $8.99 a pound. This is 0.58 pounds, $5.21. Um, you know, chicken's not cheap, you know. Inflation. Now, I'm pretty sure that this is exactly the same salad as chicken salad with grapes just with no grapes. I mean, I didn't re-watch that one to find out what our criticism was. I know I liked it. Um, salt and pepper, I'm gonna say, but let's wipe the slate clean and try it fresh. My first couple of bites, I have to admit that the, the chicken itself is a little chewy. Um, like I hit a couple of bad pieces. Let me... Uh... It, it, the chicken's a little tough, which is weird. Um, I mean, they do rotisserie chickens over there. I mean, fresh. I mean, you can, if you're in there in the morning, you see them putting them on the, on the rotisserie, hence the name. And... So it's, it's fresh rotisserie chicken. I'm just guessing, don't know this for sure. I'm guessing that whatever they don't sell at the end of the day gets converted into chicken salad or maybe curry chicken, which we haven't done yet. Um, yeah, the chicken itself just isn't, I mean, it needs salt, it needs pepper. That's a given, um, but the chicken itself, I, and then I'm not sure what else is in here. It looks like, it, like it's a relish. Maybe some carrots. Um, the consistency, which I've, you know, talked about on and on, the consistency of this is off as well. It's, it's really mayonnaise-y. Um, so we've got tough chicken and too much mayonnaise. I, I, I'm surprised by the direction I'm going with this, but don't buy it. Um, it's, it's just, it, and it's a little bit bland. Uh, this just, yeah, I mean, this just, it's just meh. That's the best way to describe it. So, but we have a silver lining here. Maybe there's something that can save it. So I figured the chicken salad review would go relatively quickly since we've already done the one with grapes. So I got a little something extra. Jello with peaches.
Now, the label fell off of this. I don't know what happened. Um, this was about $2, I think. Um, and this is anybody who's older than 40 um, has probably had this at a, a Thanksgiving, a Christmas, but it's, it's jello with, with, I think it's canned peaches in here. Cherry Jello. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. This is good. This is good. Um, I, mean, I think you can add Cool Whip to it. Get like a, a chiffon or something. You know, just get some Jello. Get a can of peaches. Maybe a can of fruit cocktail if you really want to jazz it up. But yeah, you can't go wrong with this. I mean, what a great dessert if you're like, you know, anywhere from 8 to 80. 9 to, nine to 90. 9 to 99. I know this isn't an official review, but, you know, buy it. Um, yeah, I mean, come on. It's jello. Well, I'm going to finish this, but you don't have to watch the whole thing. I'm Ed, that's Happy Foods, and you've been happy-fooded.